Welcome back to the Eyes and Reminder Sucks His Own Dick. Here I go. <laughs> Terrible. You asked me to do it. <laughs> right Didn't ask you to actually suck like your dick on camera. Well, you do it then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the last episode, we were talking about the difference between egotistical and arrogant yes. and uh, enjoying your own company. When I say I enjoy my own company, what I mean is that I just like I, I'm a, I'm an incredibly introverted person is what I mean. Yeah. And an introvert just means that like you just you I guess perform best in you know your, the privacy of your own home I guess by yourself if that makes sense right. Yeah. And like it recharges you. The best way that people put it is like an extroverted person is recharged by. Um, going out going out and being with friends and stuff like that and an extra uh, introverted person is recharged by being, staying at home and so that's, that's or like strange. or like being at home and being alone and stuff like that I and I'm so. very introverted I'm half and half because I don't like staying at home too long but I also don't like going out too often well I'll say this it took me a very long time to realise mm. what I was in high school I used to like try and go out and stuff because I thought that was like what you were supposed to do Mm. but I only realized like after high school that actually like it's not my scene mm. and that there's it, it also misconceptions it's always very difficult to explain it that doesn't mean that like I actually you know dislike being social I, I, that's not the truth what, what it actually is is more just like I just don't do it as often you know like mm. I enjoy seeing my friends and I enjoy going out and stuff like that but you know not as often as someone else would mm. if that makes sense mm. And I, I think it's possible to be, like, in between as well. It's just a way to kind of, like, I guess allow people to understand what they're like and who they are more. Um, an egotistical person is someone who thinks the world of themselves. Yeah. And I guess arrogant as well. Arrogant, I guess... Uh, well, arrogant means you think you're better than something everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Which I don't think either of those. I have a... Uh, I try and make myself seem like that online, but I'm not at all in real life. Mm. Very self-doubting. Well, that's not true either. But I'm not. I'm not. I don't think that I'm the bee's knees, as it were. I just think negatively about everything, especially myself. <laughs> I've just a little so like, trap going on here. When so. I went to the river on Sunday, um, I didn't. I had didn't make up my mind whether I wanted to go kneeboarding until the very end. Right. When uh, the when they were working out, all right, are we gonna put? Are we gonna pull the boat? back up or are we gonna is someone else gonna have a go on something yeah. so I went yep I'm gonna have a go on kneeboarding and and I didn't I didn't actually bring the kneeboard in the boat so we had to go back to shore to uh, where the car was and all the stuff <coughs> to get the kneeboard and that was just cause I, I knew that I wasn't gonna be of much entertainment value I didn't know for how bad I was going to be on the kneeboard, but it turned out that I was fine hold on all along. And <laughs> isn't uh, that what you got to do? Is just hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. You don't have to. Uh, it, it's not just holding on. It's about staying on your board. Yeah, board. Or your ski or whatever, long enough. Um. And also working out how to enjoy the experience on the board, because uh, I was constantly how do I bumping. Enjoy this experience. I was constantly bumping on the on the on the water, and I worked out that the way to not be bumping on the water because it was unstable bumping on the water um, on, is right. more better off um, kind of swerving across the waves and cutting through it. Mm. And that was that was better, but I would never go across the wake, which is so when you're behind a boat, it creates um, the big stream of water yeah, behind. Yeah, the big ripples on the both on both sides. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so the wake is the big tumble of the water, um, and that's the very edge of what's created behind the boat as it carves its way through the water, and. Um, I would never cross that because I didn't know if I was going to be able to get back on and I was worried about um, falling off the board. And that's been the way it's been for me ever since I've been kneeboarding, which is 
many many years. <laughs> but I took a very long. Uh, it's been a. Uh, it, it had been a, a very long time since my last kneeboarding. Until uh, yesterday. <coughs> <laughs> I don't do water sports personally. No, you don't like the water. I do not know. <laughs> I think I said this possibly in the Mario Sunshine episode, but like I really like the beach, but yeah. I don't like the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Is that because of um, the, the salt water in your eczema? Yeah, that's part of it. That's, pa- that's part of why I don't like going in the ocean. There's a lot of reasons why I don't like going in the ocean. Mm. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have a, a very, very severe case. Actually, again, I get to use these keywords from the doctor. Uh, I have a chronic, uh, severe and chronic case of eczema. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, of which I do keep under control pretty well, though, so you don't okay. see me look like a because fucking m- monster. Yeah, throughout my school years, I met uh, quite a few people who had eczema. Yeah, and one of them, the one that had the, the probably what I would consider the worst case of it, um, Did I really open it? Uh, oh. is that because um, he had it on his face as well and he looked quite bad with it. Yeah. <coughs> and I wonder. So, and you say that you've, that according to your doctor, hmm. uh, uh, you had a very bad case of it. I still do. You still, you were you. you I, but and, I use a lot of extremely it. strong, o- like, <laughs> over, what is it, uh, you know, you got to order it cream and stuff like that to keep me in check, as hmm. it were. It sounds more intense than it actually is. How do I get up there again? <laughs> it's got to follow the rails. Where's the ladder? Yeah. Ah, there it is. <laughs> I also opened up like a thing earlier, but I don't like remember where it was or if I picked it up. Oh. Oh well. Uh, I know there was a box that you did open and you picked two things out of it, like this. But a different one. I don't care about that. There is like a. I'm gonna open up all the cells, you see. And there's a chest in one of them. Yeah. Um, Yeah, It's a big prison. Yeah, man. Well, this is what what they're. Yeah, the the stronghold is like a prison thing. Let's open up every single one here. <laughs> there might be some enemies, but I can't remember. Yeah. Um, the thing about my skin as well is that it is enhanced my, by the fact that I also have celiac, in which my celiac attacks my skin cells and makes them weaker, right? So the no. eczema comes through stronger. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> ah, here it is. So... I don't like going into the detail too much because I think it gives people the wrong impression of the, the fact that I look probably like way worse. It, it destroys it destroys the, their their impression of your immense beauty. Yeah, my ooh, my uh, <laughs> that's who, that's me. <coughs> immense like, beauty. No, it's not a matter. Yeah. That's why I wear a helmet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think my face is like. It's okay like uh, this time, what is the name? Angry Joe in uh, Mad Max Fury Road. Angry Joe, is that who? Isn't yeah. that the guy on, the, on YouTube who makes those awful videos? Oops, did I just say that? Hey, look, it's Roland. Can I open this? Vault Hunter. Good to finally meet you in person. Hell of a job fighting through those bloodshots. This will just take a second. Oh, he must be really strong. Attacked a robot. <laughs> He's a pretty powerful dude. Yeah. Yeah, he was the heavy weapon guy in uh, the first game. Oh. Commander of the Cringes and Reduce. Yeah, man. Well, that's that. Now let's see about getting out of here. The guy here. behind you. Execute him. Vault Hunter! You gotta stop this thing! Yeah. Maybe later. No! Alright, see ya. Bye. I guess. No, Jesus. <laughs> Alrighty, so basically the reason that the uh, Hi- Hyperion wasn't answering the calls is because they just decided to launch an all-out attack. Mm. Oh god. Well, they're not gonna they're not gonna pay for it. They're just gonna take it. Yep, exactly. That's what they do. So now we're actually these are uh, essentially new enemies now. Whoa, the loaders. Mm. These are yeah. the Hyperion men. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you didn't notice the uh, EXP loaders, yeah. you get it. 
Any XP lasers? Yeah. Looters? Or loaders? Exploders. Ah, oh, the exploders. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. I'm using this new gun, and it's pretty okay, but it's not great. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's probably better yeah, than that's that. Yeah, the one. timer. Already? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, next time on Exploder. Yeah. Exploder on the screen! Yeah.